This is a KGUN 9 Now News Update. Hello, I'm Lydia Camarillo. Today begins phase three of the University of Arizona's return to campus plan. Here's a breakdown of what will be allowed on campus now. Classes of up to 100 students can now meet in person. Up to 25 people can attend indoor in-person events and up to 50 people for outdoor events. The U of A says this decision comes with full support from local health leaders. But right now, the U of A needs more volunteers for its vaccination site. In a tweet, leaders gave steps in order for someone to become a volunteer. First, you need to register with the Arizona Disaster Healthcare Volunteers. Then you have to complete the U Arizona Vaccination Pod volunteer form. We have both links up on Kega9.com. Starting today, Pima County will be working with FEMA to bring about a quarter million vaccine doses to the region. Board Supervisor Matt Hines says the two federal pods could be up and running in early April. This comes after the state reversed its decision, authorizing FEMA to work directly with the county. In a letter to FEMA, State Health Director Dr. Kara Christ says that if the county cannot ensure the state-run site at the U of A will be impacted, then it would pull back its authorization. The Navajo County Nation has extended and loosened its COVID health orders. Tribal leaders said the daily curfew hours are from 10 p.m. till 5 a.m. Businesses can remain open until 9 p.m. daily under the latest Safer at Home order just issued back on Friday. Leaders said the order also allows outdoor drive-in gatherings. That's where people stay in their cars, park at least six feet from each other, and wear masks. It was the first weekend since Governor Doug Ducey lifted some COVID-19 restrictions and some bars and restaurants say they did see more people stopping by. The owner of Union tells us since last year, they've been averaging about a thousand customers a day between Union, Reforma and Proof. But he said those numbers went up on Friday to 1400 people. They are still requiring servers to wear masks, but give guests the option to decide whether or not they walk in with them. Let's take a look at your forecast this week. It's going to be a warm one, about 10 to 15 degrees warmer than normal. We could hit 90 today, but if we don't, we will later on in the week. We'll have high clouds at times and breezy conditions on Tuesday.